Guys, previous video was fun. In that video, we saw how to create models and how to create migrations. And we also saw how we can connect our website to a database. We saw how to connect our application to a SQL database, SQLite database. So you can see that the default database that I've selected here is SQLite. In the future, we will see how to change this database. But for now, let's stick to SQLite. Let's stick to what Django gives us by default. I'll fire python manage.py run server and this will start a development server as you can see and I can visit this server and I can see my website as you can see it looks pretty clean it looks pretty good and I really love this image this image looks good so if you like any of the images you can simply right click save the image and you can load the image from your image directory in order to show you how to do that what I'll do is I'll right click save image as and what I'll do is I'll simply go to the place where I want to save it and I'm opening my project folder and inside this folder I'm creating another folder called static and I'm saving this file inside the static folder so I'll say slider1.jpg so I've saved this file as slider1.jpg I'll save this file as slider2.jpg slider2.jpg and if I find any other interesting picture what I'll do is I'll save that picture as slider3 so let me save this one as slider3.jpg now you guys must be thinking how to load this image from static folder so you must have seen that i created a static folder here and i saved all these images inside the static folder in my future videos i'll show you how to load these images but, but for now i'm just saving it because i like these so in this video, I'll show you what is Django admin. So we saw that this contact me works. We saw that if we put something over here, it simply submits it to the database. And you can see that the data has been written to the DB. But how do I confirm that the data has been written to the DB? This is the biggest question. And I'm going to be answering this question in this video. So what I'll do right now is I'll go to my models and the name of my model is contact. If you look into this home app, you'll see there is this admin.py and there is this apps.py. Now what I'm about to tell you might raise some confusion in your head, but bear with me, please. What I'll do is I'll register the model. Now you must be thinking, what is this registering a model mean? So registering a model means that I want to see this model inside my Django admin. Now what is this Django admin? We'll look in just a moment, but before that I want you guys to register the model. In order to register the model, you need to go to admin.py and this is a step to see the models inside Django admin. So all you have to do is you have to go your admin.py and you have to say admin.site.com and then register and then you have to write the name of the model that you want to register and contact is a model inside models file. So I'll say from home.models import contact. Okay. So what I've done here is I've registered this model. Registering a model means that I want to see this model inside Django admin. So far, so good. What I'll do is you must be thinking, what is Django admin? We haven't even done anything. We haven't even seen what Django admin is. Is it something that we are going to code? This is the beauty of Django. We don't have to code Django admin in case of Django, but rather what we do is we leverage the Django admin, which comes with Django, which automatically ships with Django. So I advise you to stop the server at this point and fire Python manage.py and create super user. What is this create super user? Create super user is what it says. It creates a super user. What is a super user? If you have worked on Linux, you must be knowing what a super user is. Super user has more power than regular users. So in order to create a super user, what I'll do is I'll simply say python manage.py create super user. And I'll say the username I want to choose is admin. And I don't want to give an email address at this point. And password is admin and password I'm giving once again admin and it's warning me that he's, he's saying that hey Harry your password is really very common it's too short you might get hacked I'm saying okay let me get hacked yes I want to choose this password now I'm not going to choose this password if I am in any production server I'm choosing this password because this is an app I'm showing you guys to teach Django and this is something that anyway I'm going to delete now we have created a super user called admin the password is admin. What I'll do is I'll fire python manage.py run server and I'm using my up and down arrow key to 
switch between these commands as you can see python manage.py run server and once I do that I can log into my Django admin where is Django admin in order to go to Django admin you have to open this 127.0.0.1 slash admin remember this admin path we put inside our URL patterns inside the urls.py file this is to access this Django admin I didn't write this code Django administration this is not written by me this design is not written by me this is something that ships with Django and it is awesome so what I'll do is I'll enter username as admin and I'll add my password as admin and I'll press enter key as you can see that I am logged in and I can see this interface this interface was never created by me but rather it ships with Django and this is the beauty of Django I just love Django because of this you can simply create a website and you automatically by default you have this backend which is your Django administration and you can simply browse all the models all the entries everything that you have added as you can see that there is contact object one and this is something that I added this is something that I recently added. Let us add, add another entry and see whether this works. So you can go to this view site and this will take you to the site. So let me open this site in a new tab. And if I refresh this, you can see that there are only two contact objects at this point. I'll go to contact me and I'll simply say name is Harry and I'll say Harry at harry.com and phone number is 787878. I'm just putting a random number please don't call this number and then what I'll do is I'll explain the concern I am testing Django admin and I am very happy to see that Django admin is awesome okay I'll submit this and if I reload this you can see that there is a new contact object 3 let me zoom this for you so that you can see this clearly contact object 3 means that this is a contact object this is an entry that I added through this form and this is the object which got saved here if you go to views.py remember we saved this instance of contact I may also call it contact just for choosing a better namesake Control s to save contact is equal to contact name is equal to name email is equal to email I don't want to install auto puppet at this point it's prompting me to install something uh, your source code editor might prompt you to install certain things but at this point I'm not interested in anything all I want to do is focus on Django so contact is equal to this thing contact dot save I can simply add another entry and I'll simply say DJ Khaled another one submit and I'll go to contacts and you can see contact object 4 as you can see that name Rohan at rohanwebsite.com the email that I chose and this number that I chose and then DJ Khaled another one I wrote this um, just randomly please don't focus on that now our portfolio website is almost complete I hope you understood what models are what registering models mean I just want to take a moment and tell you that if I don't register this model what will happen if I, if I don't register this model and try to access my Django admin you can see that there is no contacts model so in order for contacts model to appear here what I'll do is I'll register my contact model so now if I reload this page you can see contacts is here one more interesting thing that you might notice is that contact here was singular in my models.py but here it made it plur plural why did it do that it did that because the objects inside a model will be plural so if I say that uh, I have a contact model that is singular but if I have a list of a lot of contact instances it will be plural so if the name of your model is fruit this will show fruits because if you click this link you'll see a lot of fruits similarly since the name of this model is contact and this contains a lot of contacts so it's calling it contacts so th there's nothing much to it you must be thinking that why this contact model is showing up as s so if I name my contact as contacts it shows it as contacts and another s so it is not smart enough to detect the s so it will say contact ss so it will append an extra s here and you should not have any problem with that I'm just telling you because you might 
think that why is my model name not showing up correctly it is actually showing up correctly it is the dashboard the inbuilt django admin dashboard which is doing this for you all right guys so we have seen a lot of things we made a contact model work we created this form bootstrap looks nice everything looks nice the portfolio looks nice and hello visitor i'm looking for a full-time job you might also want to change the color of this thing to green and if you want to do that you can simply come to home.about.html and you can simply change this warning so yellow color in bootstrap is warning i think it was home.html yes so you can change this warning to success so bootstrap calls green color as success it calls yellow color as warning and there are two more colors i think there are many more colors light is white dark is black and the primary is blue so you can see all these colors inside uh, bootstrap documentation at this point i'll just reload this page and green looks cool to me because this should give positive vibes when i'm telling a visitor that hey please hire me i'm looking for a job so he should get some sort of positive vibes so in order to ensure that i'm just saying that okay uh, let me color this as green okay so there are many more things that you can do you can add a footer you can simply go to getbootstrap.com oops getbootstrap.com and this website hosts a lot of components i really love this website i can't tell you how much i love this website you can go to collapse carousal i've already used the carousal by the way you can go to forms you get a whole bunch of beautiful components i really love this website i can't even express how much i love this website spinners spinners is something that i really love if you if you go to write html css and javascript for spinners no doubt you can do that but again quickly copying this and pasting it and getting a spinner is you know it really feels good and it saves a lot of time and efforts believe me so this was about django admin uh, in our future videos we'll see how to change this text because many people they come to me they tell me that hey i have a freelance client and i want to pretend that i have created this dashboard in order to show some work and they come to me and they say that hey harry can you please tell me how to change this django administration and once you log out let me log it out log in again they want to change this text as well they say that how to change this text how to change this text so i'll show you how to change this text and it's really very super easy to change the text you'll really appreciate django admin after that now what i'll do is i'll simply enter my admin admin ignore this harry which was pre-filled inside this field because uh, in my previous videos i have created some django websites and in those videos i use that harry username so you can ignore it i'll simply log in and i am logged into my django admin dashboard it really looks awesome i have this model and contact contact i can simply add more contact instances using this form and it really looks amazing so i hope you guys like this video and if you haven't already accessed this playlist please access this right now because i'm going to be add, adding a lot of videos to this playlist and this playlist is going to be the place where i'm adding all the videos all the projects any advanced stuff on django i'm i'm going to tell in the future will be added to this playlist so I think you should be accessing this playlist and bookmarking it at this point right now and also you can save this playlist by clicking here i hope you guys will give me a thumbs up please give me a thumbs up that way i come to know that you guys are liking this video you are liking this series i am going to be adding a lot of projects in this particular course so make sure that you like this video thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time